Hey guys, welcome back to the Judah Way of Life. My name is David. I'm joined again by Pat, who's an excellent UK. Um, so I keep getting back on. Uh, so today I wanted to go through uh, COINARG or Marat COINARG. Uh, it's something we're working on in class over these past couple of weeks. Now I'm going to do this video, it's going to be a series of three different videos. This is the first part we're going to look at doing uh, COINARG as a standing throw. Now when we're when we're doing this, um, one of the common uh, complaints I get from people is that they get a sore wrist or they end up getting a sore elbow. Now, from my experience, the reason for the, this is, is when people turn in the COINR, when they um, turn in, they don't create space on the lapel here. All right, and then something people often do that I've seen is they start to grip lower and lower down here, which is a terrible, uh, terrible idea. I'll tell you why. It's two reasons. One, you've got no control of the person. Okay, so you've got no control here really, it's just too much gi. And then two, when you actually turn in, quite often you end up coming too far through here. And you actually put the, uh, the pressure on your wrist. Now, you want to be gripping up here near the, the neck, all right? And the issue from here, the pressure put on the elbow and the shoulder is because people turn and they try and turn in here and they don't create space first through the lapel. They don't create this bit of movement and then this is what's going to allow you to turn through, okay? So on the sleeve, we need to be able to create space. So you bring the sleeve up. If I had a watch on, for example, uh, for me the cue is to look at my watch. And then on the lapel, I'm going to create this space. So from here, I step in and I'm creating this space. I really want to open, uh, pass up, so I can come, uh, I've got plenty of room to turn in. Bring my foot so my little toe is aligned with uh, Pat's big toe. And then this is going to allow me the space to bring my left leg in and turn around. So from here, open, and then in this nice strong position. with my hand when I turn in here so I create a space and then I'm making a fist with my hand and I'm turning my fingers towards me and then this will drive my elbow into Pat's armpit okay and I want Pat's shoulder to go up when his shoulder goes up this is now becomes very weak so as I turn in here I'm driving up and I'm able to lift Pat off the floor and that's how I'm breaking his balance and continuing that tension all the way through here, okay? So with the grip, the step before one of the common things is that elbow, uh, shoulder and wrist pain. So we've got rid of most of that by creating space, turning through, like I said, you turn your hand. You've got to keep turning this hand. It's no good getting to here and stopping and getting this floppy wrist position. It's very weak, uh, it's going to cause you issues in the wrist. When you turn here, you keep making a fist here. Now obviously I keep this up, just dropping it down so you can see what's going on okay and I keep trying to turn my hand around so the act of turning my hand around even if I can't you'll get to a point where I'm stuck but just trying to turn is going to maintain that tension through Pat's upper body um, and then that's going to help me finish the throw off uh, you know I don't want to get stuck here in this bent position I'm going to drive through it's going to help me bring my body through to finish the throw off um, now just one thing with my my feet and my hips when I'm turning through I want to bring my hips across and I want to make sure, I'm doing this as a right-hander, I want to make sure that my right foot is in front of my left foot. If I turn in and I'm here, my hips don't come through and I'm very weak here and then Pat's just going to skip around the side. I need to make sure I'm bringing my hips through so that when I turn and I'm keeping this tension through the sleeve, I'm blocking this and Pat therefore comes over. Okay guys, so uh, there you have the standing version. 
Pat, bless him, just hurt his fingers, so he just went to tape it up. Um, but that's the, uh, so the first part, uh, we're looking at a standing version. All right, so keep your eye out for part two, which will be coming up in a, a few days, hopefully. Um, uh, and we're going to be looking at a squatting version. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, see you later.